Hey baby. Hey baby. Who's a good girl? What's up guys? Welcome back to go back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be working on the i3 that's sitting right over there on my driveway, just taking up space because uh, it's a mission. You guys are about to find out later in this video, this is Future Nor, um, that we did experience a lot of little minor issues and we did find out some more hidden damage. So this is one of those builds that I know is gonna actually take a lot of research. It's gonna take a lot of time to figure out because no one actually makes any videos with the i3. I think it's gonna be one of the pretty much the only YouTube channels that's ever rebuilt an i3 or that's ever even replaced any parts on the i3. So for those of you guys who are ever gonna consider buying an i3 from the Copart auction, make sure to check out this build series because I don't think you're gonna find any more information anywhere else and I'm gonna try to be as thorough as I can with this build as possible so without further ado let's go ahead and start dismantling this car because we really need to find out what we need to order and what we need to do to get this thing to run And now guys that we finally got the hood off and everything, it is time to remove that bumper. So we had to remove the bumper, we have to remove so many other things just so we can actually further diagnose the damage. I could have honestly just took this down to my body shop, tell them to disassemble the whole front end, tell them to diagnose the damage, and then tell me what needs to be done. But honestly guys, what's the fun in that? I wanna go ahead and take off everything myself so I know exactly how to put back everything. Um, I knew regardless, this is gonna need some framework, especially when I noticed that subframe was bent up. The subframe always has to mount to a frame um so yeah we, I, I was like you know what let me go ahead and just take everything apart so i know where everything kind of goes and uh, that's also why i'm kind of recording this video in a way that i'm kind of like looking into every single detail so i will actually look back at this video when i'm rebuilding this i3 and i hope this also helps a lot of you guys if you guys are rebuilding i3s as well because there's no other videos on youtube on how to disassemble a front end remove a radiator support remove a, a you know even an ac condenser there is so many little things on this car and uh if, honestly if it's not recorded it's going to be a pain to go back and try to figure out where everything goes. Also, look at that little uh, coolant tank right there. That was actually from a Mini Cooper, which is kind of cool. So, um, well, I don't know if it's kind of cool, but you guys know the i3 was actually made by a lot of recycled stuff. So, it uh, looks like they also used parts from other vehicles so they didn't have to make any new parts for this car. I noticed that the crash sensors were that way. I noticed that the coolant tank was that way. Anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and continue to disassemble as much things as possible uh, because, yeah, we need to figure out how deep this damage is.
And guys, now for the fun part, we are finally getting into the little stuff like the radiator supports. So we're pulling off all the, like the actual frame components. Um, we need to remove, again, as much things as possible so we can actually see how bad that damage is in the back. Um, we're probably gonna end up needing to pull it with my truck as well, just to pull out the, as much metal as possible. So I can actually start cutting it. It'll expose some more of the screws. Um, I thought actually leaving on the original frame components would be a good thing because the frame shop can use it to bend everything back. But since I found out this was actually aluminum, um, it'd be better just to remove as much things as possible. So when the actual frame shop gets their hands on this car, they can just cut off the aluminum because aluminum, you cannot bend it back. You cannot fix aluminum. Um, it's very, it would just literally break. Uh, so you have to actually just cut it off to where it was bent, um, unfortunately. So I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and take off even more things. And uh, that was pretty much why this video took me two to three days is because I was just doing so much research on this car and calling a bunch of different BMW dealers and seeing what I need to do to get this thing back on the road. And uh, yeah, I, it's, a, it's a learning experience for me and it's definitely gonna be a learning experience for anyone else that's actually starting off with an i3. Um, so anywho, I finally got everything together in one video. I wanted to get all the disassembly in one video and now that it is, I can look back at this video, know what parts to order and know how to put everything back and at the same time uh, now we actually can actually see the extent of the damages so we know exactly what needs to be done to get this thing back on the road. guys yes i'm wearing the same hoodie uh i'm gonna get it dirty so i might as well i didn't have time to wash this today so i might as well put it right back on i do have a shirt underneath this and do not worry anywho uh, on a different note other than hygiene stuff you guys know that i am working to achieve owning every single bmw and rebuilding every single bmw on this channel we've built one i8 we possibly need to rebuild one we built one seven series we definitely need to rebuild some other generation of one a different six series generation different five series generation different four series generation we've done many three series many one series i don't know if you guys can see that but a lot of very fun builds. A ton of M3s, the F80, the E92 M3, the E36 convertible, the E36 sedan, the M4, and obviously we got the, just the two trucks down there. But ultimately, you do wanna achieve most of this. As you guys see, we've pretty much been focusing so much on the three series, the one series, and the M3s, that honestly, we need to change it up a little bit. So I decided what better way than to start with the i3. So for those of you guys who are wondering, Nor, why did you get an i3? I, it's the most controversial car, um, and honestly, at the same time, I think it's gonna be a really cool daily. I think it's gonna be really Really fun. I think it's gonna be really uh, entertaining content and definitely gonna be one of those builds that it's like a hit or miss. You never know what's gonna happen because this car, if you guys don't know, has a carbon fiber frame that sits. I mean, a carbon fiber tub that sits on top of an aluminum frame, which if I don't know if you guys know, but it's not really easy to fix aluminum and it's not uh, easy to weld aluminum, nor is it to replace. So uh, long story short, we don't want to replace the entire frame on something like this. If you guys think about it, this car shares the same frame, aluminum and carbon as supercars. So if supercars can get rebuilt, hopefully without an exp expensive price tag, this should be able to get rebuilt. So make sure you guys smash the like button, stay on the journey, keep your fingers crossed that this build ends up being successful because I'm, I'm quite stressed, I'm not gonna lie. We have some more things to remove to, before we can fully diagnose the damage. So let's go ahead and pull off the rest of the things on that front end and just keep your fingers crossed the entire way. You guys know things are about to go down.
the video. So yes, we need parts on the i3. The aluminum frame is bent. We need a professional aluminum welder to help us figure this out. I've reached out to a couple shops and two of them that I reached out to said they're booked out for more than three months. And these are the only two people that, that even do aluminum welding for cars. And those are the only two people that were referred to by all my automotive friends. So yes, I didn't know aluminum welders is like a more, I didn't know if that was actually way harder than regular welding. I've never actually done welding like like real legit welding car welding I've done little like little tack welds and stuff like that back in the day yeah I didn't realize aluminum is super 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 difficult to uh, to weld and you need a like a really good professional automotive one to actually do the job especially since it's a frame component you do not want that thing breaking or being brittle or anything like that so yeah guys the goal is is to find a welder that can actually help take care of this I think again if any of you guys are in California um, that know how to weld this stuff and are a professional automotive uh, aluminum welder are you came off in it. <laughs> Hit me up on my Instagram. Comment down below on this video because I really need someone to help me out with that whole aluminum situation. And if any of you guys actually own an i3 and a dismantling one, let me know because I'm definitely going to be wanting to buy some parts. There's literally nowhere that's selling parts for this car. It's definitely going to probably be one of the most expensive rebuilds ever because I'm buying the frame from BMW. I'm buying the subframe. I'm buying all the stuff, even the steering rack you guys saw that was damaged as well. We're pretty much buying everything from BMW on this car. So if there's any of you guys that actually have an i3 Rex or even an i3 honestly that have parts for this car hit me up because I really really need to cop it and honestly I'm going to pay some pretty top dollar prices because BMW you guys already know um, are charging an arm and a leg. But anyways guys that's going to pretty much conclude this video. If you guys are excited to see how this car turns out make sure to smash that like button. If you guys believe in me and believe that this car will eventually be driving make sure to smash that like button because I have had my moments in the past couple of days. This, this has been like the whole recording of this video was like three or four days because it's been really windy outside. Um, so I, it was really hard for me to get to working on this car because I can't actually get in the garage and I've had my breakdown moments I've literally was taking things apart I'm like oh my god this is gonna add up this is gonna add up this is gonna add up and I've been going I've been calling BMW for the parts and I'm like oh my god I'm gonna go broke with this build and I've honestly contemplated on just sending this thing back to the auction but at the same time I wanted a challenge and I'm gonna pursue this so if you guys want to see how this thing turns out make sure to smash the like button you guys will be supporting me and I would really appreciate it in other words I really need some encouragement but without further ado guys as soon as I get an update on the E92 M3, I will let you guys know that is still at the frame shop getting sorted out. Two cars needing framework. Ooh, buddy. Anywho, <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted on these two builds. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.